be? It's impossible to reach her. This girl is a feature, or do I mean the future? I bet on all you creatures till I make you all believers. Since he is believing, and we're the only reason working 365. Yo, Jamie! <laughs> Hi, guys, this is Brown Sugar. We're at our house. Today, we're meeting Jamie Foster Brown. She's um, from Sister to Sister magazine. And she's like this an amazing, amazing magazine writer. And she interviews so many people. Hi. This is Jamie. How are you? Welcome to SisterSisterMagazine.com. <laughs> now let me give you a little info on her. She's interviewed Jay-Z, Beyonce, even Kevin Hart. He's so funny. We got some dot coms right here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have Amanda. And I had to come out here to, to meet these young ladies because I heard they were phenomenal. I'm I'm 12 years old, barely 13. I'm about to set it off like a little queen. In this game, I'm a player like a chessboard. This is for my girls, and this is for my little boys. I'm a move for, I'll show you what you're looking for. Spanish and black, tell me how you like that. Well, I saw that they were phenomenal. They performed at Summer Jam here in New York uh, last summer. I just really wanted to know. Who you are. I'm so interested in our young babies coming up. Although once you hear them and once you see them, they're not really babies. They're like midgets, right? They're grown folks in little bodies. <laughs> early 30s and so my dad brought us to this rap battle it was so cool and so we have we thought of raps and then we just, we just sent them on stage you guys seem to have your own know who you are i mean you're not imitating <laughs> anyone yeah you know, you're in your hat her and her earrings i noticed things like that because i like to i always like to dress different i want to be me my mom used to tell me you don't need a designer to tell you what to wear you got a brain just yep. they have a brain and decide what you want to wear yourself, you know. When you call, when you just say somebody, like, like let's say you walk up to, like, Justin Bieber, like, when you say their name, it's just like, hey. <laughs> it's such, it was such, like, a huge shock. It was like a lightning bolt hit me, and I just, I realized that this, this is really what I wanted to do. I think that, I think America is just kids. Because it doesn't protect our children. We don't protect our children yeah. from what they see on television. Um, so what do you think can be done about that? Well, my parents have channel locks. So we have like Optimum, and then on Optimum, they have like these passwords that we never can figure out for some reason, <laughs> ever. <laughs> so we tried every combination, literally, I don't know what it is. So they put in these combinations and they block these channels. So like, but these parents nowadays, they don't do that. They don't care what their children are watching. I want to fall back on being a pediatrician because mm -hmm. I really, really like um, working with kids because I'm like a kindergarten monitor at school. Mm -hmm. And nice, yeah. I really love working with kids and I like making people feel better. KRS, one of me in charge of the borough. I'm only eight years old, you already know I'm that thorough. Be globally known and your buzz is just local. Put a check down on my land, you some locals. because all these kids, just like Pastor Nutrition said, stay in your season. Mm -hmm. All these kids already telling me about Jersey Shore. Oh, did you watch the first Jersey oh, yeah. Shore? Mm -hmm. All of that, Jersey Shore. Um, what did they say? Um, Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. Did you see E! News? Did you see The Soup? I'm like, wait, I, I was like, my, my mom blocks these channels from me. What are you talking about? They're like, um, what, do you, what do you mean you didn't watch that? Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, did you see um, how Kim got back together with um, Kanye. Kanye, yeah, mm -hmm. Kanye. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I'm confused because my parents block me on all these shows. Let me ask you something. Now, a lot of girls are having um, children and no fathers. How important are fathers? Fathers are very important. Why is that? First, mm -hmm. 
fa they need fathers to tell them, oh honey, you're pretty, I love mm. you. Because mm. the first thing the girl's going to do when a man or a boy says that they love them because they don't have a father in their life is go, you love me? What? You love me? Mm -hmm. uh, first thing they're going to do. I think it's very interesting that you said the thing yeah. about love. Because years ago, I saw a television program where these, um, these young girls were lured into cars and to go with guys because the guys would say that they were pretty. Oh, you should be a model. I think you're very pretty. And they were talking about at that time that the girls didn't have fathers to tell them that they were beautiful and that they were pretty. See, because the first, the father is the first man the girl learns to love and how to be treated and how to love. And so if she doesn't have that, there's no protection around her. There are no words in her. There's no voice in her head telling her that you don't need to be with this person. They may not be who you, you know, may not be good for you. That kind of, so fathers are very important. I've been thinking about you, yeah, in the most peculiar ways. I've been thinking about you. It's unbelievable to me, but suddenly I think I'm falling in love with you. My name is Man Man. My name is Oracle Liz. And my name is Jamie Jamie. And, and we, we are Brown Sugar. Sugar.